Yo, what's up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to a new video. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of the most sad, problematic, like devastating, heartbreaking obstacles I faced while setting up Sega GPU Pasu. Now, I think it is really important to note that I'm using Arch Linux plus BSPWM plus Polybar, and of course, no Display Manager because it's bloat on the start X. Now, without further ado, let's begin. The first problem was, of course, you know it, the kernel. Now, according to my testings and like everything I did and some individuals that use uh, that also uses uh, single GPU pass through, anything above 5.18 is broken. What I mean by that is you lose your EFI frame buffer. For some reason, when you return to the host after, after shutting down your virtual machine and you return to the host, which is Arch Linux in my case, uh, the EFI frame buffer gets deleted. Why? I don't know. I did a test. At that, at that uh, time when I was testing, I was using the Linux 6.0.2 and my EFI frame, de uh, frame buffer device got deleted after I returned to the host uh, machine. Now, the problem here is that I, I tested like multiple kernel versions and I realized, I noticed that anything above 5.18 is broken. So I was forced to use another an, uh, an LTS kernel. Uh, luckily, I found uh, this kernel on the. Let me pull up to it. For uh, this kernel, Linux Verifier LTS, so I don't need to patch the Linux LTS on my own. On my own, you know what I'm saying, bro? So, yeah, luckily I found this. Now, I'm using this, so I guess you can consider this as a. Like using this Linux Verifier LTS a solution. But if your hardware, if like this Linux doesn't support your hardware, so you need to patch your own kernel, you know what I'm saying, bro? And of course, when you were asking why I'm using VFIO, you know what I'm saying, bro? My IOMMU groups are broken, bro, so I'm forced to use the ACS overhead patch. Anyways, using the Linux VFIO HX will fix the black screen of uh, TTY, you know what I'm saying? It gives you access to using your TTYs, even though. Like, as I said, the problem is UFI, uh, UFI frame buff buffer gets deleted, but the TTYs are still there. The second problem is running Start X. As I said at the beginning of the video, I'm using no display manager, so I need to run Start X manually. To do that, luckily, I found this tool, this command, or whatever you can need to call it, a program, you know what I'm saying, called OpenVT. But OpenVT starts a program on a new virtual terminal. Of course, if you don't know what a virtual terminal is, like it's a TTY, you know what I'm saying, when you can run commands, you know what I'm saying, bro? So in this one, you will need to use, like, uh, you can basically uh, add OpenVT to your, to your revert script of uh, KMU, you know what I'm saying? And like, it will uh, give you like TTY number two, number one, number two, you know what I'm saying, all the known numbers, like, as you can see here, you know what I'm saying, bro? I'm using OpenVT with the F, as you can see here, F is uh, force opening a virtual console without checking whether it is already in use, you know what I'm saying? Now, we are using the F because the first six consoles are using by login D, like get, you know what I'm saying, boss? So we need to force to use it because we aren't using it for anything else except for logging in, so it's safe to use. Now, and C for choosing the number of the TTY. Right now, I'm on TTY number one, and of course, when I shut down the virtual machine, I need to see the login of the TTY number one. You know what I'm saying, bro? Now, for some reason, using only, uh, not using OpenVT gives me a black screen. You know what I'm saying? And whenever, like, whenever I try to type keyboard, anything, it won't work. You know what I'm saying? So I need to run the video, you know what I'm saying? MPV. Like, I don't know how this works, bro, but it works for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I call this solution, this solution calling, calling back the TTY, you know what I'm saying, and an MPV video and it works for me like a charm. No display manager because that shit is bloat and slow as hell, you know what I'm saying, bro? So yeah, I think these are the two main problems that I faced while sitting up single GPU plus, you know what I'm saying, bro? Like, I have a Windows 10 uh, single virtual machine, I have a Garuda in next virtual machine, like this shit works like a charm, bro. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.